Probably the most popular change that people need is they change their password. And how would you do that in Outlook? But there are other changes that you might make as well. So let's go look at a few examples. What I want you to notice is I have two email accounts, STingle and Demo Tutorial. And so when I go into the backstage, first of all, make sure I'm selecting the proper account that I'd like to change. So let's go backstage on the file. And then you want to be sure you're on info if for some reason you got off of info. And then the button here for account settings. When you click on account settings, you have the repeat account settings. And it says add and remove accounts or, and that's what we want, change existing connection settings. So we'll click on that button and it pops us into the dialog box where you want to ensure that you have the email tab selected because it's email that you want to make changes to. And then let's look at a few options for changing. One of them is you might need to change the default account. Currently the default account is stingle at klines.com. You can see that with the black circle with the white check mark. But if I wanted to change demo tutorial to the Outlook default account, you simply click on the email and choose set as default. And now they change the order and it's switched, which is the default account. Also, when you click on the stingle at klines.com, you can also come down here and change the folder. So I could select change a folder and what this is all about is where you deliver new messages. Now notice stingle at klines.com only has one inbox. There are no additional folders in the inbox. And so by default it's going to go to the inbox. But I could create a brand new folder. Let me show you one that already has new folders. Demo tutorial in the inbox. There's picnic project. There's orders. There's planning committee, carnival, and food. So on this one, if demo tutorial was going to change the inbox to orders, now what would happen is from now on, incoming mail, new email delivery location is the title of this, would be sent to that particular folder. Remember down here, I don't have any new folders, so I would simply click new folder and I would give the new folder a name and it would be created and then I could send the emails to that folder. Let me click on cancel. I don't want to change these settings, so I'm going to go ahead and click cancel to get all the way out. And then you also might want to change something about the accounts. For instance, I mentioned the password. Maybe you'll want to change the password about the account. So let's choose stingle at klines.com. And then we simply look across the top at the buttons that are available and you choose the change button. And when you choose, excuse me, the change button, look, it opens change account. And there are many things here that you could change. And I'm certainly not going to read them all to you, but let's point out the most popular. Right here, incoming outgoing mail servers, very popular because something might change about your business location. You personally might want to make some changes. For instance, your name. Maybe something happened, you had a typo in your name, or you got married, or you decided you want to be more formal or less formal. You obviously could come in and change the user name. Also, oh, excuse me, your name as the user, I should say, because your username is different down here. Here's probably the most popular line, changing the password. So you could go in and change the password, and you might be being prompted to enter your password multiple times. Then just come in here and not only put in the proper password, but check the box that says remember my password, and then you won't be prompted for your password all the time. If you indeed make changes here, you might want to test the account settings in order to identify if everything is accurate, but look at this check mark. Automatically test account settings when next is clicked. That means this button right here. So it may be set up to automatically check the account settings when you click on next. Before I do that though, look at the more settings button. Check out to see if there are settings in here you would need to change by clicking more settings. And what you're going to recognize here is if you've ever manually set up an email account, these are the same tabs, these are the same locations that you would be visiting when you're creating or setting up an email, same ones where you might need to make some changes. Now I don't want to make any changes here so I'm going to choose cancel. But here let's click on next because remember it's automatically going to test the account. So we click next and we click next. It's checking to make sure that any changes you made, and I didn't make any so everything will be fine, but it's checking to make sure that all changes indeed still make the account work beautifully. You're hoping for green check marks. If you have the errors tab appear and something listed across the errors tab, it's going to let you know what went wrong, what you need to go fix. I'm good to go here, so I'm going to go ahead and click on close. And now it says you're all set. But now this one was kind of misleading to me at first. It says, we have all the information we need to set up your account. And I thought, oh my gosh, did I set up a new account? No, look at the title of the dialog box 
change account. And it's simply telling you that everything is set. Any changes that you made are going to indeed take place. Excellent. So we click on finish and then any changes would be in effect. Now that's for a pop account. Let's check out this account, this Exchange Active Sync. So we'll click on this one and again choose change, but the dialog box is a bit different because there aren't as many choices. Again, you might have some things in here you want to change with the most popular item being the password. This is where you would adjust your password if you've changed your password and then check the box or deselect the box to remember a password. And when you click on next, what's going to happen? Same thing. It's going to double check that all is well. I got a green check, so I'm good. But you know, if it's not good, it'll be on the errors tab. So let's close out of that. And once again, you're all set. You're on the change account dialog box. So when it says we have all the information we need to set up your account, it really means we have all the information we need to make the changes that you requested and everything worked. And then you would simply click on finish and your changes would then take place. When you click on close and go back into your account. One of the things that um, every once in a while if something behaves glitchy, just close. Just go to the X in the top right hand corner and actually close Outlook and then reactivate Outlook and any and all changes should indeed take place. So now get in and make changes. For instance, the password might change or your incoming or outgoing server could change and you can now quickly and easily go in and make any modifications you might have.